for a week. There's a lot of been a lot of twists and turns. I've covered, you know, lots of different jurisdictions, including you know Lake County, Seminole County, Orange County, Polk County, all assisting the Winter Springs Police Department in the search for Shakira. Um, so we were all hoping uh, for a different outcome. So on Saturday, yesterday, November 18th. Um, the Orange County Sheriff's Office was assisting the Winter Springs Police Department in searching an area uh, near Bob White Airfield uh, in Mount Dora. <clears throat> that, that search concluded around 3 p.m. and shortly before 5 p.m. Uh, we received a 911 call from a storage unit facility on 2400 Wiggins Road in Apopka about a smell emanating from one of the storage units. Uh, Orange County deputies responded. Uh, they were able to make entry into the storage unit and they found a woman believed to be uh, Shakira Rucker, a deceased from apparent gunshot wound. So this now becomes an Orange County homicide investigation and case. Um, so as you all know, uh, Shakira's estranged husband, Corey Hill, uh, is the prime suspect in, in her disappearance and obviously now in this murder. Uh, he is already in the Orange County Jail uh, and charged with four counts of attempted homicide for shooting at his girlfriend and family back on November 12th, and he is in there under a no-bond status. And I say all that to say that uh, we have plenty of time to continue collecting evidence and, and testing to build our case uh, so to charge Corey Hill with Shakira's murder. So I'm saying that he is the suspect. We're not looking for anyone else. He will be charged uh, with the murder uh, eventually in this case. And so this time I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Chief Tract uh, from Winter Springs Police Department who'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Thank you Sheriff. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, I appreciate the support we've had from the media. Uh, I'm Matthew Tract, I'm the Chief here at Winter Springs Police Department. I want to echo some of the sheriff's comments that our thoughts and prayers go out to Shakira's family. It's been a very exhausting week for them, an exhausting week for Central Florida law enforcement. I want you guys to have an understanding of the scope of how large this investigation was. As the sheriff indicated, it expanded to four counties, Seminole County, Lake County, Polk County, and obviously Orange County. Additionally, Mount Dora Police Department supported us, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and the FBI. I can't thank them enough, these are partner agencies, uh, to come to an outcome. It's not the outcome we expected, but there's a little bit of closure for Shakira's family. Uh, it just goes to show the testament of the partnerships Central Florida law enforcement have in our community. Uh, a week ago, to, uh, today essentially, uh, Shakira was reported missing. Uh, we know from, t from, from evidence uh, that she left with Mr. Hill uh, and went down to, to Polk County to the Davenport area. Uh, through the investigation, we were able to track some leads and, and those leads brought us to Lake County and those leads brought us back to Orange County. And obviously you're aware of the outcome here in Orange County. Uh, like I said, it's not what we were expected. Um, we do grieve with Shakira's family. Um, we worked around the clock uh, 16, 18 hour days nonstop until we could get some closure in this case. Uh, I will bring up Captain Nick Romano. He's my lead criminal uh, investigations investigator uh, that can answer some of the questions as long as we're not compromising uh, anything with this homicide investigation. Thank you. Uh, as Chief said, my name is Captain Nick Romano with the Winter Springs Police Department. I'm the uh, captain over criminal investigations. The lead investigator is investigator Tracy Fugate. Um, but I can't answer some questions if you should have them. Uh, sir, sir, that would be an answer or a question that uh, Orange County would have to, to answer for you. Any other questions? Um, uh, Investigator Fugate, myself, uh, and uh, Lieutenant Bill Mayhew, um, went to Shakira's family last night and notified them of her, of her death. Um, like the chief said, this is a difficult moment for that entire family. Um, and of course, um, they are grieving at this point um, and we were there to support them. Not a problem. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Orange County. Uh, Orange County is currently working this investigation as a homicide at this point in their jurisdiction. They'll be able to answer those questions for you.
throughout our invest throughout our investigation with the assistance of the Lake County Sheriff's Office um, uh, electronic division as well as the Federal Bureau and FDLE um, we were given some data um, location points um, to possibly some target areas that we needed to address um, and to and to take a take a closer look at those locations that's how we were able to obtain that those that those points if you will In, the, in our investigations with a missing persons case, we uh, we went out and, and attempted to talk to him, and at this time, he was not cooperating. Any questions for me? Yeah. I'm going to turn it back over to Orange County. Yeah. So just there are a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, they're still doing uh, the autopsy, but um, she did die apparently of some gunshot wounds. And I know there was one other question about the storage facility. The storage facility is, is his, the storage unit was registered to Corey Hill. So again, uh, he's, he's the prime suspect in this case. And, you know, again, I want to talk about the, uh, the pain and suffering that uh, Shakira's family have been through. And, and really, uh, Corey Hill could have stopped a lot of that pain and suffering by talking to investigators in the very beginning instead of putting them through this week-long uh, nightmare. Um, he could, you know, the storage facility, the storage unit was registered to him. Uh, he had to have known that we would eventually find um, her in there. But um, so it's very, very disappointing. And um, you know, again, our heart goes out to the family. Um, so, you know, this, the crime scene uh, is going to be that storage facility. Uh, that, that's, that's where the homicide happened, if that's what you're asking. And at what point did that happen? Do you have a date or a timeline? How long has she been there? So this is all still part of the investigation. No, and so, you know, um, just to answer the question of that, obviously, um, you know, you guys have seen there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of storage unit facilities in, in Central Florida area, and that, you know, that wasn't, um, that wasn't known uh, until we received the call that that was his. You know, all that stuff uh, takes time uh, to gather all that information, so all that was going on at the time. No, that's, that's again. That's still a lot of part of the, the investigation. Can you talk a little bit about Corey Hill's criminal history and prior to you all working on the other other incidents? Did you have any other associated units in Orange County that you had that actually were involved? Yeah, you know, she, there's a nice some. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, the, the only one that we're aware of is that the murder conviction back from 1993 that I think it's been reported on. Other than that, I don't have any other information. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys.